Welcome, everyone. Today, we are exploring a fundamental financial concept, what is credit? Understanding credit is key to navigating the financial world, impacting many areas of our lives, from buying a home to getting a phone contract. Credit is the cornerstone of a free market economy. Without it, most companies we see as household names could not exist. Credit is the trust that consumers earn based on their ability to repay borrowed money. It's a formal agreement. You receive funds or goods now and agree to repay the lender under specified terms, usually with interest, if you are receiving funds. Notably, businesses extend credit facilities not only to individual consumers, but also to other companies, charities, schools and colleges, and government agencies. Why is credit important? Good credit can be your ticket to cost-efficient loans and can affect your ability to rent housing, secure a mobile phone plan, or even obtain certain jobs. It's part of your financial power. In fact, credit is the key that has enabled hundreds of millions of people worldwide to own cars and homes. There are several types of credit. Revolving credit allows you to borrow repeatedly, up to a limit, Think credit cards. Installment credit involves borrowing a specific amount and repaying over time, like a car loan. Additionally, a mortgage is another form of credit, specifically used for buying a home. A credit score is a numerical representation of your creditworthiness, that is, how likely you are to repay borrowed money. Scores are based on your credit history, including your payment history, debt levels, and length of credit history. Surprisingly, most people are unaware of their own scores. The American Bankers Association highlights that 56% of U.S. consumers don't know their credit scores. This is despite the fact that each of us, as participants in the financial system, has a credit score. Several factors affect your credit score. These include your payment history, that is, whether you pay bills on time, your credit utilization, the age of your credit accounts, the mix of credit types you have, and recent credit inquiries. While your current job and income sources don't directly impact your credit score, lenders often consider these details when assessing your overall creditworthiness and ability to repay loans. When we talk about good credit, we're essentially referring to a good credit score. Maintaining this can save you money in several ways. It often leads to lower interest rates on loans and credit cards, reducing the amount you have to repay. Additionally, good credit can lead to waived security deposits on utilities and better rates on car insurance. If you have bad credit, don't despair. You can rebuild it. Start by reviewing your credit report for errors, setting up payment reminders, reducing the amount of debt you owe, and avoiding new debt. Remember, negative information doesn't stay in your credit history forever. Typically, it stays on your record for about seven years. Protect yourself from credit fraud. Regularly monitor your credit reports, shield your personal info, and don't share sensitive details online or on the phone. Be vigilant about identity theft, which can wreak havoc on your credit. Credit fraud refers to the act of using someone's personal information to borrow money or make purchases, typically without their permission and often leading to financial damage. Credit fraud is illegal. It is a crime. Credit is more than just a card or a number. It is your financial reputation and a cornerstone of your economic life. Remember, informed decisions pave the way to a stable financial future. Knowledge is power, and with responsible credit practices, you hold the key to unlocking countless opportunities. Thank you for joining this journey into understanding credit.